hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see about the schema import failed error which we are getting in a data flow so let's see how actually we can solve that the similar video also uploaded in a last video but few people are still getting an error so let's see in a depth how actually we can solve that so what actually we will do we will try to create one sql database with that sql database what actually we will use we will use a data flow option in a data flow option whenever we are using azure sql database this kind of the issue is coming so let's see how actually we can solve that so what actually we are going to do first we are going to use a source we are going to use a any filter condition and after that we are going to use a sync so what actually i will do i will open my azure data factory i'll go to the author option first in the left side you can see we have a data flow option so let's create our one new data flow click on the new data flow first we will add a source so in a source first we will try to create a data set click on the data set it is a azure sql database so I will search for the SQL, Azure SQL database, continue. We will create a link service. You have to select the version as a legacy version. Subscription. You can select any server name. You can select any database name. So this is the database I have. I will pass the username and the password. And I will try to create a data set first. So what we are go going to do, we are going to create a one link service to connect with our SQL database. Now we will try to, now if I will select any table name, sales LT dot address. Now if I click on the OK, you can see I am getting an error, schema import failed error. How actually we can solve that? Click on the none, click on the OK. Once you will do that, you can see in a data set, this is the one which we have created, right? So go there. In a data set option, you have to go here here you have to select a table so if i select the lt dot address or let me select any other table customer table if i will able to preview data click on the preview data i am able to preview that now what i will do i'll go to the data flow in a data flow only the people are getting a issue so if i'll go to the data preview if i will refresh i should get a i should get all the column uh, which i am able to preview in a data set but here you can see in a source one it is showing the column zero zero so what you have to do so here it, it is working fine if it is not working fine if you are getting any error so what you have to do go into the projection first you have to click on the reset schema and then you have to click on the import projection once you click on the import projection let me click on the import projection in this case all the column will be shown so let's wait for that you can see once I'll click on the import projection, it is showing all the column name and here also it is coming like the column 15 total. So what you have to do, you have to click on the reset schema and then you have to click on the import projection. Now if I'll go to the data preview, if you'll refresh, you will be able to preview all your data. So like that actually we have to solve this kind of the issue. Now let's try to completely solve this. So what I will do now, I will use a filter condition. So let me use any filter. So in this filter condition, let's try to apply any filter here. So customer ID greater than 10 something. Click on the save and finish. Go to the data preview. Click on the refresh. Here also you can see I'm getting all the customer ID greater than 10, all the values I'm getting. Now let's try to store this filter value in a storage account. So I have one of the storage account. This is the storage account. I have one of the container input container. In this input container, let me try to save this. So what I have to do, click on the plus, add a sync. In the sync, I will create a new data set. It is a blob storage. So I'll select that. Delimited text in a CSV file. I want to save. Link service we will create. And we will select the storage account and after that we will click on the create. After that we have to select the where you want to save. I want to store into the input container. So I will select that. First row as header. Click on the OK. Now this particular one is ready. Now what I will do, I will click on the new pipeline. In this pipeline 2, I will try to drag this data flow 1. I will try to click on the publish all. Click on the publish. Now let's see our data is getting stored into the sync. If we are getting any issue, then we will try to debug that. Now my publish is completed. I will click on that trigger. Click on the trigger now. 
now my pipeline will start running click on the ok you can see it is running so if you are getting an error in a data flow what you have to do first you have to go into the source uh, first you have to make import schema as a none then you have to go into the data set you have to select your data set uh, table name come to the projection in this projection you have to click on the reset schema and you have to import a projection and then you will be able to preview that let's see whether it's working fine or not so let me refresh you can see this one this pipeline is running so let's wait it to be completed this is a pipeline to which is running now you can see now it is succeed let's go to the input container let me refresh let's see our data is coming or not you can see this is the part file if i'll click here i should be able to see my customer data click on the edit if i'll preview i am able to preview all my data from the customer id 11 12 right everything i am able to preview so that's how actually we had to do so do try this if you are still getting error uh, please do let me know yeah thanks